Hey guys, it's me, the American Zimmer, and God bless America. Now, 15 minutes of gameplay, and it starts in 3, 2, 1. Um, so let's go ahead and continue turning it to the left. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Ha! Doesn't look right. Maybe try another. Okay, let's place the necklace here. No, no. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I think there's only one other place to try the necklace. I think oh. you found it. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. God's watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. Bye, Duncan. I hope to never lift one of those again. Okay. Let's get up there. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. And up we go! There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. 
Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? Surprised to see me, eh? Because the way you left me... You can't have thought you were going to see me again. How did you escape the guard? I got my hand on a rock. I hit him. Over and over. <gasps> I may not look like much, but I know how to survive. And he deserved what he got, what he tried to do to you. But I'm here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! Ooh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones by the fountain. But they can't know it's his. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away. Oh, oh no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you. Hi, Tom. Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Sarah is simply in awe of your presence, Your Grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit. Elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaiden should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion.
What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making Natalie. trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Yes, ma'am. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. I understand, Lady Marjorie. Forgive me. Forgive me, my lady. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. Oh, we're about to kick some butt. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> this ends now. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, yeah. Roderick. 
This is against the king's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of. Hey guys, that's the end of this part. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that other fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.